Hey everybody, I just had a package hit my doorstep. We're gonna go out here and see what it is. I got something special for you. Guys, I ordered this package from Amazon. I had a little bit of an incident with my old push cart. It's one of those push carts that's got two wheels on it. I try to walk more often than I ride. It's better for filming. I really enjoy walking, so I wanted to invest in a better push cart. And I had an accident. I'll tell you a little bit about it. First, let's check out what I got. So the deal with my old push cart was is that it just had two wheels and it was a little bit top heavy. Well, a two wheel cart is, you can push it, but it's mostly meant for pulling. And when you pull it behind you, I've got kind of a long stride, I'm six foot one, and it would always run over the back of my foot if I wasn't careful and depending on what kind of incline or decline I was walking down. It just made things really awkward. Whereas a three wheel cart and a four wheel cart can be pushed in front of you. It's out there, you're never gonna run into it everything's cool. The biggest issue that I had with my two-wheel cart and what really spurred this decision to purchase this three-wheel push cart was an incident that happened at the golf course on Sunday. I had just finished my round. I was unloading everything and I always keep my camera that I record with when I'm on course on a mount and that mount then goes on the handle of the two-wheel cart so that I can have it at the right height and I can be ready to push the record button throughout the course of the day when I'm playing golf. Well, the cart already being a little bit top heavy as far as the handle being heavier than the base, I made the mistake of taking my bag off before I took the camera off of the mount. And you can guess what happened. <laughs> camera down, face plant right into the hard pavement. I'm currently looking at a cracked screen. This is the, the camera that I record on. And I said, that's it, I'm done. I'm finished with the two wheel cart. I'm finally gonna pull the trigger and order a three wheel cart and this is what I got from Amazon. So I had a little bit of a, a hiccup in the beginning because I know that they have several options for this Janus free wheel cart. They have uh, black, they have blue, and they have red. Now, it's not the entire cart. The main body of the frame and the main wheels are black, but then they have little color accents like blue or red, or you can get the all black version. And I really like the blue. I thought it stood out. So I ordered the blue one, and when I saw the box, the little check mark on the box was for all black. And I thought, uh-oh, I've already got the wrong product. And already in my head, I'm thinking, that's not a big deal. Who cares? I won't send this back. It's not a big deal. But then I was surprised when I opened it up that I actually found that it was just a box that was marked incorrectly. So, uh, you know, that's pretty good news that I got exactly what I wanted. When I go out and I film, what I'm doing is I'm using this phone that I'm talking to you on right now to record. It's a decommissioned phone. It doesn't have service. It only has Wi-Fi when I get back to the house, but I use that to record with. So that needs to be on one mount. The other mount, the one that's already included with this cart, is gonna be for my actual cell phone, which I have an app downloaded that is called Golf Pad. And with that Golf Pad app, I can continually keep the GPS display up. I can have it readily available so that I can tap track shot, go to next hole, mark your score, Anything that I need to see will be right there and I don't have to keep fishing my phone out of my bag. If anybody's ever ordered any kind of stuff from Ikea or whatever, you always have these little wrenches included that you need to put things together. But the real surprise is this. Look at that. This is a tiny little screwdriver with the crystal handle on it. I've never seen that before in my life. That's pretty cool. They could have just put you know, something really simple, but to go through and actually use the crystal and, and then carve out the little piece and paint it red, I mean, that's really kind of going above and beyond. I hope that this cart is kind of built as well as this tiny little screwdriver is. All right, so this is the instruction book that goes with it. You can see it's made by Janus, and I guess their motto is get what you want. They have several different carts, not just this model, but they have several carts on Amazon, and you can click my Amazon link down below. It'll take you to your general Amazon page and anything that you order on Amazon, anything at all, helps my channel. It costs you nothing extra. You don't have to sign up for anything. It doesn't change your experience in any way. All it does is take a little piece of what you paid and give it over to the channel and that helps me out. It's going to be a really simple instruction manual. It's mostly pictures. I wanted to tell you a little bit about the features. 
It's got an umbrella stand. I already saw that in here. It's got the bundle straps um, that go across to hold your bag in. It's got the foot down at the bottom to hold the actual golf bag itself and support it. It's got a drink bottle holder, which I'm hoping will be of decent size. It's got an insulated bag so that if you put like, they show a picture of canned drinks in here, uh, you can keep those cold. It's also got a storage mesh bag uh, up at the top near the handle. And then it's got this little compartment. This is for you to keep your scorecard on, keep extra balls on, and the flap door opens on it. So if you had cell phones, sunglasses, uh, anything like that, extra tees or a glove, you can throw them in there. So I'm just going to slap this bad boy together and uh, see what it looks like when it's finished. Okay, so there she is. Uh, it's all put together. The assembly was pretty easy. Uh, it did get the blue wheels. As you can see, it's got the, uh, the bag straps on it. These clips down at the bottom, they kind of fold in and then they just kind of go over themselves. And this just hooks together. It's like a bungee system. It's a fixed wheel. It doesn't 360 around, which, you know, that's uh, some of the... Some of the more expensive carts, that wheel can kind of spin around, but but honestly, it's like when you're steering it, it's 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 not the kind of thing that's going to really bother you. You know what I mean? You, it's not like a heavy, it's not a heavy item. All you got to just pick it up like a lawnmower and kind of steer it around. That's that's how I mow the grass. I don't have turning wheels on my mower. Really wanted to show you was up here. So you've got this, you can click this and then the handle moves down. So the neck, when you push this blue button, it's hard to operate one handed but you can kind of tilt it and click it up into position and that adjusts the neck. But check this out. Here's the umbrella holder. Now what I'm going to use this for is actually I've got a, a mount for this phone that I'm using right now that will clamp onto this post and then my phone can be mounted here facing this direction or I can shoot the opposite direction because it'll miss this post. So that's going to be my camera mount and then on this side this is to hold a cell phone. So you can just put your cell phone in there and, and that'll be for my actual phone which is going to have my GPS and scorekeeper and all of that stuff on it To uh, and it's adjustable. You can slide it around. You can move it all over the handle wherever you want it to go. You've got places right here for tees then you've got a cup holder and check this out they've put bungee cords on this flap so that when you open up the compartment inside you can see it's got places cut away to put extra balls put uh, scorecards tees pencils um, you know whatever you've got to go in here that needs to be covered up and then look it kind of closes itself back a little bit with the bungee straps I thought that was pretty neat one thing that I'll say that I don't really care for is this bag now the bag itself is fine. It's going to be kind of hard to see in here. It's made out of canvas. It's it's a really heavy-duty sort of bag. That's fine. And this is the uninsulated pocket. And this, this here, it hangs down at such an angle that anything I put in there is just going to fall out. You know, you almost need to pick this up. And I, I'm not exactly sure what kind of purpose that serves for the bag to be opened up at a 90 degree angle to the horizon and then underneath you do have this zippered insulated bag which is fine because it's zippered up but it's in an awkward position you would pretty much have to get down on the ground like I am right now to be able to zip it and unzip it and get to it and I'm not exactly sure how many cans of soda I'm gonna get into that pocket so I feel like this bag uh, I may need to manipulate it. It's got these Velcro straps. They go on these buckles and they Velcro over. And then this, uh, this up here at the top has a, sort of a clasp on it so that you can, you can take this free. I might end up taking this bag off because it's a decent bag in and of itself. But I think I'm going to maybe figure out a different way to configure it on this cart. All right, so that's it. It's pretty simple and straightforward. That wraps it up. Uh, like I said, this is on Amazon right now for about 150 depending on which color you choose. Can't wait to get out again and test it on course. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.